You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's John chapter 15 verses uh, verse 16, as well as first Peter chapter two, verse nine, both out of the new King James version. Good morning to all of you thriving people of God. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this beautiful worship Wednesday. Welcome to the Prayer 365 podcast. Where we're on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer, and I'm so glad that you are here with us today. Um, for those of you that are on our conference line, uh, we celebrate your presence this morning. We ran into a localized issue in regards to our internet. And so uh, we're going, we're, we're streaming live on our conference line only this morning, but we're gonna put up the recording on our channels a little later once the internet has been restored. Um, but nevertheless, we're gonna press on anyhow. Amen. I just want to remind us that even though today is Wednesday, I want to remind us that we are on our summer break in regards to um, our additional activities such as Bible study and Sunday school. Uh, we're only having our Sunday worship experience at this time, except for some of our other summer activities that only happen during the summer. We'll talk about that in the short, uh, in the near future. Uh, but nevertheless, tonight there will not be any Bible study. Just want to remind us there will not be any Bible study this evening. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and dive on into our devotional for this morning. Right now, we are in a theme this week titled, I am chosen. I am chosen. Say that with me. I am chosen. One more time. I am chosen chosen. Yes, that's the truth about you. God chose you for a time such as this, and he chose you for a specific purpose. Perhaps you thought uh, that this was something that you decided to do on your own. Perhaps you thought that this was all based on you by yourself, but no, no, no. It wasn't you that chose God, but it was he that chose you. Well, this is exactly what Jesus said in John chapter 15. He said, you did not choose me. This is verse 16 of John 15. He says, you did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go, that you should go, that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give to you. This morning, I want to want to focus on that on that line, that clause where he says that um, he says that he appointed you, that you should go and bear fruit, that you should go and bear fruit. What we've discovered right here, brothers and sisters, that Jesus is talking about an assignment. In fact, he's saying that you've been sent on assignment. You've been sent on assignment. I want you to say that aloud today. Say, I've been sent on assignment. Mm -hmm. You've been chosen and you've been sent on assignment. You see, the first thing we identified this week is that you are God's choice. Yes, God, God decided to choose you. Yeah, you are his decision. And then we discovered yesterday that when he chose you, he appointed you, which means that he placed you by his power for his purpose. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, brothers and sisters, that purpose of God is never meant for us to just simply sit on our hands and do nothing. 
No, when God has chosen us and he's placed us for purpose, what that means is that he has sent us on assignment. And what Jesus said is he said, go to go and bear fruit. What does it mean to go? That means that you've got to get up and move. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To go means that you got to leave a place of comfort. To go, you've got to leave where you are right now. And God is letting us know that it's time for us to go because we've been sent. Now, what did he say? What was that assignment? He said to go and bear fruit. Well, this sounds really familiar, brothers and sisters. If we go back to Genesis chapter one, around verse 28, we'll find something very similar that God gave as an assignment to his creation. He said, it says, and he blessed them and told them to be fruitful. What? To be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Well, what does that mean? He's saying you need to be productive. Mm -hmm. Go and produce with that which I have given you. Well, Jesus comes back. And he says that it's time for you to carry out that same assignment. You've been restored. I've come to restore you, to redeem you back into the kingdom of God. Now it's time for you to carry on doing the very thing that God told you to do from the beginning. To go and be fruitful. Are you being productive in this season? Are you being, are you producing in your assignment? Are you producing in your appointment? Are you producing in this moment? Because God did not, he did not choose you. He didn't place you just to sit. He didn't put you in that position just for you to uh, have the glamour of the, of the title. No, no. God didn't put you in that company for you to just sit there and skate by. No, no, no. He said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Works, works are what are necessary to produce. Then that's when they'll glorify the father, which is in heaven. It's time to remember that we are sent on assignment. So if you've been sitting, it's time to get up. If you haven't been moving, it's time to move. If you haven't been producing, there's some fruit that needs to be born or bared from your from your life. It's time to get up and it's time to move. Why? Because you're chosen and you've been sent on assignment. I want to pray for you today because I believe that it's time for us to realize, brothers and sisters, that we have been sin. Father, we thank you. And Father, we glorify you on this worship Wednesday, knowing that Father, you chose us and God, you appointed us. And Father, we have been sent on assignment. Father, we ask you to forgive us. Forgive us of our sin. Forgive us for being distracted. Father, forgive us for being slow in our movements. Father, this is a season where, Father, you are allowing us to be reminded of the truth about us, that, God, that we are chosen and we've been sent on assignment. Father, today there's a generation that is rising up who's saying that, Lord, we will go and we will bear fruit. We will bear fruit in our assignment. We'll bear fruit in our businesses. Father, we'll bear fruit in our, in our jobs. We'll bear fruit in that office. We'll bear fruit in our families. Father, we will bear fruit because God, you did not call us to just get by. No, you created us to thrive. And to thrive, Father, means that we must bear fruit. So Father, we are rising. And Father, we're gonna move forward in this assignment. Because, Lord, we weren't just, we didn't stumble into this place. No, we were sent. We were sent on assignment. And so, Father, I pray for my brother that he would walk in that courage 
that he would walk in that knowledge of the assignment. I pray for my sister that she would walk in courage and she would walk in the awareness of that assignment. Father, I pray for that student that even though they're on summer break, that Father, they would keep it in their mind that God, they are on assignment. And Lord, as we close out this prayer, we pray the way that Jesus taught us to pray. And we say, our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And Lord, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. And all of God's children say, amen. God bless you all. My name is Pastor Enrique Brooks of Thrive Church, and I thank God for you being here with us today on this beautiful worship Wednesday. Remember, God did not make you to just get by. He didn't make you to barely make it, nor to struggle or just to strive, but God created you to thrive. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Take care. Bye-bye.